There are more than 40 species of true potato beetles throughout North and South America, including at least 10 species found north of Mexico. While most species north of Mexico are found in the southwestern United States, two species are found either in the eastern states or throughout most of the United States. The more notable of these two is the Colorado potato beetle, which is a serious pest of potatoes and other plants in the nightshade family. The evolution of the name Colorado potato beetle is curious because the beetle is believed to have originated in central Mexico, not Colorado. It had a series of names from 1863 to 1867, including the 10 striped spearmen, 10 lion potato beetle, potato bug, and new potato bug. Colorado was not associated with the insect until Walsh stated that two of his colleagues had seen large numbers of an insect in the territory of Colorado feeding on buffalo burr. This convinced him that it was a native to Colorado. It was Riley who first used the combination Colorado potato beetle. Colorado potato beetle females are very prolific and are capable of laying over 500 eggs in a four to five week period. The eggs are yellow to orange and are about one millimeter long. They are usually deposited in batches of about 30 on the underside of host leaves. Development of all life stages depend on the temperature. After four to 15 days, the eggs hatch into reddish brown larvae with humpbacks and two rows of dark brown spots on either side. They feed on the leaves of their host plants. This beetle can go from egg to adult in as little as 21 days. In some locations, three or more generations may occur each growing season. Old larvae in their fourth and final stage are responsible for as much as 75% of feeding damage. The adult beetles are difficult to get rid of because they have adapted resistance to control methods both conventional and organic. As a result, your best weapons for dealing with the Colorado potato beetle are vigilance and speed. There are a few natural enemies of Colorado potato beetles. Stink bugs and lady beetles will prey upon Colorado potato beetle eggs. There's also a fungus that will kill both larvae and adults. Unfortunately, natural enemies have little impact on overall Colorado potato beetle numbers. During the late summer or early autumn and in early spring, apply beneficial nematodes to control the larvae. Plant cover crops and pollinated plants around your growing area to attract beneficial insects. Or handpick the adults when you see them or use a handheld vacuum. Some gardeners like to keep a butterfly net on hand to help trap them. Once you have them, dunk them in a pail of soapy water. You can also use neem oil or Bt.